If you have three axis machining centers, but you're looking to reduce operations and you're producing components with very tight tolerances, then this machine is certainly one to consider. Now, David, essentially you're the guru on this machine. So tell me all about this model. Okay, first of all, no pressure there, Lindsay. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've been selling this model for a while now. It's very popular in the UK. And I love selling this machine because generally it's that step between a three axis machining center. A lot of people will use that with a fourth axis table. So what we can do is we can take the machine, the, sorry, the parts that you're currently manufacturing in that machine and we can reduce the amount of operations by using this three plus two, which is able to hit all five faces in one operation and the sixth face in the second operation. And when you're reducing operations, there are so many benefits, aren't yes, there? Yes, yeah, of course. So the main benefit is every time you handle a part, then you're reducing that accuracy. Um, you're introducing potential error. So that's got a benefit on its own for the terms of high tolerance parts. And what problems are people having out there at the moment where this is an absolutely perfect solution? Well, I mean, like I say, the accuracy for one and also it increases your productivity uh, because you're reducing the amount of operations. Now, what I love about this machine is it's got a great spindle in it as well. It's 15,000 RPM as an option, sorry, um, and at 121 newton meters of torque. So it's a great all-rounder. We can cut aluminium with the 15,000 and we can cut ink nails with 121 newton meters of torque. So it's a real great all-rounder. So this is a three plus two, it's not a full five axis. So what are the main differences here? So the main differences is, the, the reason this machine was developed was because we were producing five axis, full five axis simultaneous machines. And we realized that quite a lot of our customers didn't actually need that level. They weren't using the full five axis. I hear that a lot. Yeah, yeah, and that's why we developed this machine. Um, and what's allowed us to do is obviously reduce the price, or reduce the complexity, but we can still produce really complex parts. Who needs a machine like this? Is it a subcontract machine shop or a no? Who, who needs exactly. it? Exactly, that's perfect. Subcontract machine shop. You don't know what you're getting in from one day to the next. It's perfect for this machine. In fact, when I sell this machine, generally, I always say to the customer, what will happen is you'll buy this machine and I'll bet you'll buy a second one. And they've got more than one here, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Indeed, they've got four. And it's exactly what I said at the time. What happens is when you buy this machine, it ends up the work that you were previously doing in a three-axis machine and those multi-operations, and you can reduce that to two, then you start to really feed these machines, and that's when you realise you end up needing more of them. Can you automate them? Of course, you can. As you can see from this machine behind us, the shutter on the right-hand side, that allows you to add automation. So we've got standard product in our own portfolio, made by DMG Mori. We've got a pH system, which is very popular. And we've also got to use our robot to go for milling. So we've got lots of, lots of possibilities for automation in this machine. Give me some of the stats of the machine, kind of make that brochure come alive. Okay, so you can have it in two different control types. So you can have it with Siemens or Heidenheim. A lot, this company in particular, they were predominantly using Fanuc, so they were a little bit nervous about moving to Siemens. But as soon as we showed them the demonstration, I think we took them around, you know, we'd, we'd done an online demonstration for them, took about an hour and they were sold on the Siemens control. Yeah, it's very easy to operate. It's got shop mill programming, and it's if you can read a drawing, you can program a part and you can make a part. We've got two machines in the range. We've got a CMX 50U and a CMX 70U. You would like to think that that means something and the x-axis stroke in the 50 it's 500 and x but on the cmx 70 euros it's actually 750 it would be great if it was 700 yeah, well. it's 750 so is it easy to transition from a simple three axis machine up to a machine like this yeah this this is very easy so like we said earlier it's not full five axis simultaneous but that makes it easy much easier to program with the swivel planes with the siemens control you can actually program most jobs at the control itself, you don't need CAM software, and that's a real benefit. So it's a great stepping stone from a three-axis machine to a five-axis machine. It's that point in between where you don't need a full CAM system. You can program everything at the machine itself. And no wonder they're so popular because people are, are doing that. It's an yeah, easy, it's a natural move. It's a natural progression. And what we often find is that people will take that progression to this machine 
and then I'll move on to a more full five axis simultaneous machine and then a multitasking machines.